Today we will make gunpowder based on thiourea. We will need it in further mixtures. Why thiourea? Classic gunpowder is a mixture of saltpeter, coal and sulfur. But this mixture needs to be crushed for a long time, mixed, and then granulated. The problem is sulfur, it is insoluble. With thiourea, everything is simpler, it is not necessary to grind, and the quality of the product will not be worse. Base materials, thiourea, coal, potassium nitrate. Scales. A spoon, a cup, and a bit boiling water. We weigh the required amount according to the proportions. Pour everything into boiling water. The role of sulfur in gunpowder. Sulfur, on the one hand, is a cementator that binds saltpeter and coal, and on the other, it is a combustible substance facilitating the ignition of gunpowder, since the ignition temperature of sulfur is less than the ignition temperature of coal. Due to the increase in the sulfur content in the powder, the strength of the powder and garengi decrease. The solution cools, but it doesn't matter. Also, due to the binding of potassium to sulfide, sulfur contributes to the decomposition of potassium nitrate to the end, that is, to nitrogen gas. The role of sulfur can also be performed by other components, sugar, urotropin, etc. We use thiourea because with it the process of making gunpowder is simplified. Put the glass on the stove. Mix lightly. Wait for complete dissolution and pour the mixture into the pan. You can do without a stove, but drying will take a couple of days. But drying on the stove requires some caution. The formation of mush is a signal to stop heating. The mixture should be completely dry. It can be granulated through a sieve, but we need a fine powder, the basis for future compositions. Therefore, we grind in a mortar. Finished product. Sifting. By the way, at the beginning of the video the composition of C17 is shown. This is C16 with the addition of magnesium. I repeat, this is not the final composition, the basis for others, but in its pure form it gives good sparks.